one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1990 Cadillac Fleetwood and it's the the baby Fleetwood model beautiful car um, I'm gonna go around do the once around kind of show you what you're dealing with here um, this car only has 93,000 original miles um, got the upgraded wheels got the uh, oh the gold package all over it oh man it's beautiful it's just all there is to it my name's Nathan my website is www.oneownercarguy.com you can give me a call my phone number is 406-544-6919 you can reach me anytime and I do a lot of these older one and two owner uh, mid-year Cadillacs like this not new not old classic all the same right here beautiful car I gotta show you just real quick interior preview oh man yeah very rare to get the cloth in these but go ahead and do the once around and show you the minor flaws and like I say, there ain't much to talk about as far as that goes. Um, absolutely beautiful car. And that's that. Here comes a big old Harley. Vinyl or eel skin? I don't know what they use on this year. Roof. Uh, gold package, like I say. Everywhere. Size are straight as can be. No real dings to talk about. And even the pieces down here, just absolutely beautiful. Crests around the doors. Absolutely beautiful. There's a little scratch right there. And that's just a, yeah, that's a smudge on the chrome there. <clears throat> Chrome going around the wheel well openings. Inside the wheel wells are beautiful. Don't know if you're going to be able to. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. Hard to say like new. Hard to not say like new too. Close as it gets. So going down the sides, beautiful. Nice setup. Firestones. Actually, you know, I seen a Michelin on the other side. And he must have had to change one out. It's okay because they used a Michelin. Oh man, there's all kinds of tread. Say 90%. Well, that's your outside walk around of most of it. I'm going to finish up going around any damages. And like I say, there ain't much to talk about. Uh, when it's lighter out tomorrow, I'll have to start with showing you underneath. A little chip, a couple little chips there. Um, a little smudge right there on the corner. Going to the sides are nice as can be. Little watermark there. Yeah, they come right off. Just a watermark. Yeah, that's. Down for you, and man, that's about all there is to talk about on it. There was one more thing on the front of it I wanted to show you. <laughs> Pretty as it gets, chrome's beautiful, the whole deal. I might just show you the insides now too. I get too out of character on these, and then I lose track of where I am. And that's not what I'm looking to do for sure. Fiberglass fenders. Small crack right there in that one. It happens sometimes on these. You gotta love that. Well, there's your outside tour. Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And since it's the time it is, let's see how we can do on showing you the inside right now. Ooh, cup holder. Wow. Pretty early year to have a cup holder. That'll drive.
drive you crazy, won't it? Okay. Now to show you the seats. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> uh, brake fluid good. Oil good, tranny good, washer fluid good, light blinkers good. Everything's good. Good, 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 good. My guy wrote, no flaws. I would like to disallow that, okay? That is not what we say around here. I know what he's going for, and I know what he's saying here, but that's not what the car is. It's a 90, and I'm sure you're going to find a flaw or something somewhere like this. There's dirt right there because my... Um, Dad just brought home a bunch of gravel and we've been walking on it. So, of course, there's a little dust. But the floors, carpets are in great condition. Underneath that shag carpet, great condition. Gold keys, baby, to go along with your UDC homes, huh? Tiny. See, there's a flaw. Tiny bit of wear on the piping. I mean, and a lot of people don't consider that a flaw. A lot of people, they would fix that. I wouldn't fix nothing on this car. I just drive it, baby. That's it. Door panels are in great condition. Small split right there. That's what they get. It's this car. It's the year car you got. And this here. This is for the hood. Because it doesn't open. Well, excuse me. It opens fine. The struts are wore out. 29 bucks a piece, I believe. On eBay. And that's where I stop. I could keep going and going. And I could have somebody install that for if you haven't delivered out here. No problem. Um, just costs. And I hate to ask more and more and more for my cars. I like to try and ask less. Oh, wow. This is a, a rarer option on these cars. Um, you don't see this on a Fleetwood a lot in the back. And I wonder if it wasn't added in. This seems pretty... Huh, interesting. A little bit of wrinkle on that right there. Nothing needed or nothing. The headliner's in great shape. I love these vinyl top cars like this. Small little stain right there on the carpet. But, I mean, it's in beautiful shape. Lights work up in there. I don't think this guy ever even knew what was in here. I don't know if this guy ever knew he had a spare in here. Auto suck down or whatever you want to call it. Works great. Beautiful car. These kings look good in lots of different colors. I do believe white is one of the best colors possible and I'm not a big white car fan really but this car looks good in white oh. gold bar gold bar nope man they just hitting off Mercedes all over the place aren't they you know this is one thing I dig about the uh, caddies is the little indicators. Gold coin. Gold coin. The little indicators that you get. Holy smokes. Oh, you gotta have a key on. I didn't know you had lock buttons in the back to lock all the doors. <laughs> nice car. Got all the books. The main book. Some of these had. Oh, there you go. See, I love this card. I've had pretty much all these cars. I used to do a lot of Cadillacs. I still do. I got an '85 Slantback Seville. It's in right now. I've got a. Um, oh goodness. All kinds of neat ones. Can't even think. I got three of them. So there's that. Gold series, Delco Gold, Bose. How's it going, Ted? <clears throat> so 
Can I open that already? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll get you a test drive in tonight too. I gotta show you underneath it and a few more things. Um, beautiful car. Couple tears in there. Hood liner there you can see. It's in great shape. 4.5 and 4.9. People give me a lot of hell on it, but I'm here to tell you these motors are a little bit more reliable than a North Star. Um, you don't get the same head gasket problems and stuff as soon on these. Um, plenty powerful. True, a North Star is probably one of the most powerful Cadillac motors they ever put in anything, and they're mean, but they break, and they break quick. Uh, you know, I wanted to show you this. It just seems like it's a little off. I don't think it is, but that piece there just seems a little off. Like it's a little bent out. You know, it might be. See, that piece is in there tight, and this one seems like it's bent away from it just a little bit. Maybe I'll try and give that a little shove. Heritage of ownership. And I believe it means they ordered their Cadillac and they put the number that that Cadillac was for that buyer on it, which means this guy was 10. This was the 10th car that that man ordered. Um, that's a lot. And by the way, that's going in my collection. Um, it's not going on the car. If you want one, you can buy them on the internet. They're pretty cheap. They won't have an X on them. Pretty freaking cool. So you can guarantee the man loved his car, took care of his car, and such. And it shows this car looks amazing. So that's kind of a once or twice around a little bit of interior. And I'll show you another swap at it tomorrow to where you can see some stuff. I'll do a quick test drive here tonight. But there'll just be a couple things tomorrow that you can see that you're just not going to see as well tonight. God, maybe from the house up there. We'll see. I'm going to test drive you. And then we'll stop up at the house and see what we can see. Actually, we might not go nowhere. I can't find my keys. There we go. Or your keys. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Come on. 92-934. And this here flips around. I don't know why. Radio is good. And front D eyes, huh? Wow, I ain't got much fuel left. It. You give it a little pop and you're at 30. I'm gonna slice the interior in now and show you that. It's a beautiful car. Everything on it is just as nice as can be. And um, any questions, Nathan, 406 544 6919. One owner car guy, about a week from the time I upload this, you'll see um, about 60 pictures of it on there. If you're interested, call, call soon. This thing ain't gonna last. Neither is that one. They're both just not gonna last. Thanks for watching. Here comes the interior. Lately I've been doing uh, more reviews of the options to where you can see what works on the options. There you hear the AC kick down. When you put it in park, your doors unlock like they should. No extensive programming like a Benz or a Range Rover. That is one of the coolest things about a Caddy on this stuff. Everything else loses its programming over time or when you reset the battery. Auto down on the drivers. It all works. All the windows are in good shape as far as the upsies and downsies. Hey, wait, I hit the same one twice. So just like it should, on your seats, let this thing adjust. Back, forward. You might not be able to see that, but I'm going down. I'm going up, yeah, you can see it, to the steering wheel, front down, 
front up, back down, laid way back, back up to where I'm not cool and gangsterish, and then you do have the seat memory and everything on this, um, your mirrors. And you'll see in my thing where my guy wrote the slip on it and put no flaws. Well, I don't say that. And I understand what he's going for. I mean, it's pretty dang close. But the minimum maximum to where it readjusts when the lights hit it. Um, you've got Twilight Sentinel, of course. And all your lights and stuff work. 92.9. Um, this one flips back and forth there. Flip, 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 flip. They all work but it flips back and forth. Um, let's see here, bam, lights work up here. It does have the SIR um, Supplemental Inflatable Restraint Airbag. They just didn't call it that. SIR! Huh, they didn't call them an airbag in that year. Oh, look at all the lights work. See, we're bad for not um, like wiping these things down. Just forget. Garage door opener holds it. Yep, they still have them in this year. Um, front de-ice, de-ice your front, and man, oh I didn't, I might have showed you this in it, I hope I did, 200 car, super high score, um, no accidents, I see things that, Yeah, it's all the mileage checks out. It's 11.8. Yeah, 92. It's right where it should be. One owner car guy, and I don't know how I split this thing up by the time it was all said and done, but I wanted to get you the night look with the white paint. It just gives you one look, and then the sun gives you another look. Just bright as can be, nice as can be. Beautiful car, and I wanted to make sure and show you it's just so straight. It's pitiful. Um, this is a two owner, beautifully maintained Cadillac. And I'm gonna kinda do a once around here in the sun, and then we'll do the test drive, and I'll clip in the interior after that, which I actually did last night. Um, I'm clipping these together a little differently. Hope it doesn't cut the quality. Um, I'm just trying to get more cars filmed and up in a day. I'm kinda behind is what it boils down to. What I need is somebody to help me do the videos and edit them. God, I stay up all night editing videos and making them produce and put in descriptions. And it is fun, though. It's what I love to do. Dealing with cars like this, you just can't go wrong. These cars aren't going down in value. They get great fuel economy. And you got a nice classic that really stands out on the road. You just you notice it. Bam! And I see these things with wheels and all that kind of stuff, aftermarket stuff. Man, I wouldn't change a thing about this car. That's all there is to say about it. The car's beautiful. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. www.oneownercarguy.com And I'm going to take off now and go around the road and show you the deal. Now, I probably showed you this last night, but just the way things go, I want to make sure that you see just how clean this puppy is under here. No, that's not a puppy, but I do have them for sale. If you're looking for a miniature beagle, I've got eight puppies. And they're all heading this way. You can see here where the paint chips off. Oh, a little bit better now. And you get the, you can see the black on it, of course. And then you can see the stuff where it chips off and you get the bare metal. Not rusty or nothing, but I put a rust proofing, rust killing, rust oleum black, flat black on this right here. Just for the heck of it to kind of show you. That's what I'd do to that whole thing. Anything under here that's not covered, most of it still has the factory stuff on it. But anywhere where it's not covered, man, I just psh, do it to it because that looks good. And I showed you under here last night, I know, but like I say, different time of day, different look. Come on now. Takes a second. There we go. Bam. Just clean as can be. There we go. Okay. That does it for another look around. We're going to go on the test drive. 
You're absolutely going to love this thing. It floats down the road. Um, I love the factory upgraded alloy wheels. I remember going into the Cadillac dealerships back in the 80s, mid to late 80s with my dad, to order Cadillacs. I remember how much they cost and all of that interesting stuff. And I see how much they cost nowadays. And it's just truly amazing. Amazing. As you see, hang on now, let this adjust. No bad codes or nothing. Which is kind of a deal on these not to have. Now, the difference between last night and today, of course, is you hear that going, that's the AC. It's nice and cold, but it's nice and warm out. I'm going to talk a little louder, but you're going to have to put up with the whoosh. Whoosh. Let's get this down out of the whoosh. Your auto check vehicle history report shows the two owners, possible 15 to 36, score to 45. Uh, my scar, my scars, my cars do generally score a bit higher because I do look for the better maimed. <laughs> you give it a little pop and you're at 33, 35, speed limit's 40, and you can't even do much and you're there. I'm gonna slow this thing down to about 20 around this corner, maybe about 18, let's say. There we go. That's it. Right to 40, like, bam! See, I thought about that. I had the ain't no thing thing, where a guy says, I always say it gets to 40 like it ain't no thing. And one of my subscribers that watches all the time says, hey, you got anything that gets to 40 like it is a thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're pretty beat up, and they don't get to 40 sometimes at all. But dude, this one here is just a beautiful car. Corners, drives, shifts, steers just beautifully. If you're looking for this body of a Fleetwood, stop it! Get this one. It's nice as can be. I'm going to, what am I going to do here? I'm going to go up the hill. And I'm going to show you. Hey, this thing just takes off, man. We got the, <clears throat> if you're wanting the big Fleetwood, I got the big Fleetwood coming up with the McLean wire wheels. Oh, man. That's a nice car. Just no matter how you slice it, that's a beautiful car. Um, this one is too. It depends on if you like the baby Fleetwood or you like the big boy Fleetwood. They're both. This is a pretty good size Fleetwood too. Um, nice, turns nice, not oversized, just right in there, mid-size I'd call it. Well, that is your once around, your twice around, your test drive, and I'm going to throw the interior in after this, so we're going to clip that in right now. Beautiful car. Thanks for watching. Here comes the interior. And there's the level ride, leveling it up because I'm on a big old hill. See, cool stuff. Got all the options. Great car. Here comes the interior. Beautiful in here, ladies. Gotta love that gold package on them. Let me show you that underneath here. This ought to work. Yeah, buddy. Got this one in hole tonight. Four minutes left. How to be able to show you the whole thing in 20. It's not my point to try and make long reviews. That's going to show you too much sun there. But I do try and show everything to where you see it. And I can't think of anything else to show you on this beautiful car. Come on. There you go. As long as you can see the metal and stuff, see how it all looks. That's what I'm looking for. In fact, it is more important to me, honestly, to show you the underneath and the motors and all this crap that most people don't show because it's where the wear and everything shows. And I want you to see what you're getting and I'm making sure there's a good view of that, by the way. I'm making sure when I buy these, when I buy something that has a tranny pan and motor pan, it looks like that right there. Woo!
Ooh, buddy, I'm telling you. And as you can see, you get a patina on it, it has the paint scratches off. And you can see right there how there's factory paint, and right there it's got a little bare metal from just over the years. In fact, that's all clean metal right there. I sprayed this with a little um, rust deadening, just regular old black um, rust oleum Krylon, and look how good it looks. Looks good. I would do that whole front piece and everything under here, um, but I just did that piece there just for the heck of it to kind of show you, etc. But look at that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. If you're looking for one of these, it's going to last you. Here you go. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, your daughter, your son. You know, lots of people don't like these kind of cars nowadays. Ooh, don't you get bad gas mileage? No, you don't get bad gas mileage. We're talking mid to high 20s here. Um, you can't get a Honda as cheap as these things go and get the kind of gas. You get, if you want a couple more miles a gallon and give up all the luxury that comes with this bad boy, you got issues and you need to see somebody about it. But they are good cars. I do like a caddy. I used to do nothing but caddies until I got onto the Mercedes and now the caddies are just so cheap. It's just how can you not love a car like this? And the miles and the shape and oh man. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Make sure and check out my site there. Check out my channel. Lots of other one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars. And I sell them cheap. And call me, Nathan, 406-544. 6919 import export I'll ship it to any port in the world just let me know where it is and that's that pretty much any port in the world from here runs 1395 to 1995 that'll get you to most anywhere Australia Netherlands is cheap 1395 to 1595 you get away from there a bit up to Brimmer Haven and up to Sweden and all that you can get a couple hundred more tacked on there easy ship it anywhere United States I don't care I'll go right to, right right up right over to Arizona I don't care wherever you want to go We'll get it there. I may even drive it to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Got the old 87 Fleetwood Brome coming up over there with the real wire wheels. Got the Pontiac Bonneville Brome coming up. And many, 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 many more. I got an 85 Slantback Seville. Lots of stuff coming up. Check out my channel. Check out my videos. Add me. Subscribe me on Facebook. Do everything you can. Find me everywhere. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.